updated here. And today, I'm going to readjust the mic. I'm going to show you how to uh, put games on your TI-84+. Plus. So first things first, you need to connect your calculator to the computer via the connect the connection cable that came with your calculator. If you don't have that, there are some cameras and other old electronics that have the same USB port or whatever you want to call it as this calculator does. Like I'm using a camera um, USB cable to connect to my computer. So just somehow get it connected to the computer and make sure the computer detects it. Go to this PC. If you see this bingo it's connected now if you double click it it's not gonna work because uh... it doesn't it can't read the calcul the calculator you need a program to read it so to do this click on the link in, dis in the description this link i'll give you some time it'll bring you to this website and you want to download this if you have windows and this if you have Macintosh. So um, I'm going to download the Windows one, which I already did. So when you download it, click on the EXE and install the program. The program should install to your desktop as TI Connect. You're going to want to double click on this. This software also comes on a disk that sometimes comes with the calcula calculator. So if you have slow Wi-Fi, and you want to download it from the disk, you can do that too. But it may not be updated. So I do recommend, if you have any Wi-Fi at all, it's a small program, just download it from the internet. So we're going to double click on TI Device Explorer. Sometimes it connects, sometimes it doesn't. It's a very fickle program, so if it doesn't, just X out of the program, X out of this, and then try again. Just keep trying until you get it. You will get it eventually. Take my word for it. Now, first thing first, you're going to want an OS for your calculator. I already have one. I'm going to delete it. I'm just going to delete it for the... If you need to delete a program, just click on it and press the delete key. Sometimes it doesn't work, though. Just warning you. Like I said, very fickle program. Sometimes when it's doing transfers, it would say, not responding. But, eventually it will respond. And, uh, delete this one too. So what you want to do, if you have a TI-83+, plus or a TI-84+, plus, get this one. If you have a TI-83, just get this one. So, uh, we're going to do this one because I have a TI-84+, plus, and it's always worked extremely well for me. Uh, yes. So what you need to do, you need to download it. Since I already have it downloaded, I am just going, well, I'll just download it again. So you see, uh, download. Open it up. Extract it. I do recommend you make a, uh, dedicated calculator folder for all your calculator games and programs. Okay. Now, drag this onto your flash ar slash archive. And, like I said, it may take a little while. You can read this if you want, but um, you don't have to. And, um, I forgot to mention, to get any program at all on your calculator not just games, not just this OS, you do need this program, so um, TI Connect. So it's just good to have in general. The calculator screen will go blank Wow, it's downloading. And now it's saying garbage collecting, re receiving. So yeah, your calculator screen will look weird, I guess. It will say some stuff. And when it's done, it will just go back to normal. I forgot to mention that you have to have your calculator on. That's very important. It will not work if your calculator is off. Do not turn it off during the transfer.
That's a big no-no. I don't even think you can. Don't unplug it. Just keep it on. Keep it plugged in. Now we're going to test out. Make sure you did everything right. Okay. So I'm going to go on to my calculator. Okay. So now you go back on your calculator. Just make sure everything worked. Okay. You don't have to do this, but it's just a kind of like a fail-safe. So just go to Apps, go down to Merge OS, and press uh, press Enter. And um, the first time there's going to be a splash screen, like there's going to be a island that shows up. If that happens, just press Enter again, and you get to here. If you get to here, everything worked. Okay, you're doing good so far. To quit out of this, you just press second and quit. Now you can start downloading games. Hi guys, if you are here, I'm rec I um I'm assuming that you have um like the you got this to work is what I'm saying. And if you didn't rewatch the uh rewatch the first part of the video. But if you did we can move on. So, you want to pick a game to download. It is recommended that you read these little little summary things and uh, see what they have, and also see um, if they take up a lot of space or some games don't work on this OS. So, yeah, just look around, make sure you read these. But Tetris is always a good game to have, so let's download that. Make sure you download it for your for the appropriate um for the appropriate calculator. Done. I already have it downloaded, but I'll download it again. It is recommended that you have your own folder for a calculator for your calculator games and stuff. Uh, just I'm just gonna extract it, I guess. Now extract it. I do recommend that you read this because it usually has controls and uh information like look a teacher key that's cool um here's the controls very important and all of this you can skim it so um now you uh drag the file sorry guys i'm sick into the uh flash archive of your TI-84 Plus, like so. Now, if this does not work, I spent like 30, 45 minutes because it stopped working for some reason. I couldn't, oh my god, my nose is so stuffed up. Because, um, I couldn't put any games on my calculator, it just wasn't working. What I had to do was that I actually had to wipe the whole calculator clean and then it worked so um... now as you can see I used this as a test we have Tetris here and now we are going to try it out and see if it works okay guys back on the calculator and um... again just go into apps Go into the OS. Uh, press enter. Main. And then go into your game. So open the main folder. Go into your game. And let's uh, let's see if we can play this with one hand. You can play two players. If you have a link cable. And you link the two together. But we're just going to play one player. Select the level, whatever, and the game just works. See, I'm playing Tetris on my uh, calculator. So yeah, it's good to mention that some games have something called teacher mode, where you can just quickly pause the game and it looks like you're on the calculator, but it's just paused. Most games pause with just the enter button. Some don't. Clear. Exits. Well... It just quits. So, um, but if you do want to exit, second, quit, or just exiting games can be hard. 
you have to fool around. Some of them you can just do second and egg quit. Some of them enter or pause. Some of them clear or pause. They're all different. They don't go by any standard. But to get out of the OS, it's always second and quit. No wait. Unless you're on an app. Yeah, make sure you're not like highlighting an app while you press second or else it'll open the app. So yeah, that's pretty much how it works. Fool around with the apps, fool around with the OS, see what you can do. Like I said, every game is different. So just make sure you know how to quit out of it. Read the uh read the text documents if you need to know anything else about a specific game. And uh Thank you guys for watching and goodbye.